Hey everybody, it's Clifford Stummy, the Pop Song Professor. If you like deeper meanings in your music, you have come to the right place. Today we are talking about Thursday by the weekend. Before we do that, I have a couple of quick announcements for you fans of the weekend. As you probably know, I started 21 Pilots Tuesdays, we're testing Melanie Martinez Mondays, and we couldn't do series like that without doing the weekend. So I thought, of course, like, well, let's do the weekend Wednesdays. And then somebody's like, well, what about the weekend weekends? And then somebody was like, what about the weekend Thursday? And of course, that doesn't sound as cool. Uh, but I looked back and I realized, yeah, he actually has a whole tape called Thursday and he has a song called Thursday. So it seemed appropriate, so we've got to do it. But I think I'm going to put it back on Wednesdays after today's. We could only do this video on Thursdays, uh, but I think regularly we'll just stick to the weekend Wednesdays. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. And to help me out, please comment your favorite song by the weekend uh, and then upvote ones that you like. And we will start to explain these songs every week, same time, same place on Wednesdays. And you guys have been asking for a Kissland album review, and that is something that I could very easily see happening in the future. So stay tuned. All right, but more about Thursday. Let's talk about it. Honestly, it's not a very complicated song, uh, and so I don't think this video is gonna be super long, uh, but we will get into it. And I think there's basically one important concept here. Uh, and with The weekend, that is that this girl is somebody he doesn't really like all of the time. His feelings for her are kind of sequestered into a certain time of the week, uh, and he doesn't really want to be in an equal footing in a relationship with her. Now, there were some theories on the research websites that I visited su suggesting that she was the same girl as in other songs, uh, and I haven't listened to the rest of the album yet, though I hope to as we go through these songs, uh, so I can't yay or nay that, but as far as the meaning of just this particular song goes, in verse one we hear, I love her today, cause it's Wednesday, I won't be late. Now I need to know if you're feeling when I'm free. Now later in the song, he refers to another girl as you, uh, or it could be the same girl, but he refers to this girl as her, so it's almost as if though he's going to one girl and visiting her on Wednesday, uh, and then in the hook, uh, when he says, why you calling, oh, Thursday, just wait on Thursday, baby, only Thursday, uh, it sounds like he may be talking to somebody else. He refers to them using two completely different pronouns, and it seems unlikely that these would be the same person because he's telling the girl not on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, get ready, oh, on Thursday, and so when verse 20 says, cause it's Wednesday, I won't be late, I feel like he might be talking about somebody else, not the Thursday girl. He asks in verse one, now I need to know if you're feeling when I'm free, uh, and so he's got holes in his schedule that he's trying to fill with meeting with these girls that he's going to have sex with. And the hook, he says, not in any of the days except for Thursday. And he tells her to make sure you are thirsty, oh, on Thursday, baby. So he is a little bit of a player, right? But that's the character that The Weeknd has been betraying the whole time. And of course, this isn't necessarily Abel Tesfaye because Abel Tesfaye and The Weeknd are different people. The Weeknd is uh, an extension of Abel Tesfaye's personality where he kind of tries out new things and thinks through things. Uh, and that's kind of been a theme of the whole project throughout. Uh, and so the weekend is this player who has girls scheduled for different days of the week and he's only gonna meet them at certain times. So then we kind of get treated to this phone conversation with the girl where he says, why you calling? Oh, Thursday. Just wait on Thursday, baby, only Thursday. And so it's almost as if though he asked like, why are you calling? And she's like, it's, what? wait, what day of the week are we supposed to have sex? And he's like, oh, Thursday. And then he encourages her just to wait. So it sounds like she's thirsty early. Um, and that's kind of a vote in favor of the girl in the verse one being the Thursday girl as well. But then the fact that he turns her down and says, just wait on Thursday, also makes it sound like she's not the Wednesday girl. In verse two, he says, girl, I try. I've been here for too long, baby, don't cry. Why you calling again? But it's not Thursday, baby, why you calling? So again, this is definitely a phone conversation that they're having, and he's saying, just wait, be patient, I'm only gonna have sex with you on Thursday. Now obviously, this is kind of a player thing to do, right? Like he has this girl who's obviously interested in him and wants to have sex with him. Um, and I think the point of Thursday is kind of an opportunity to brag on a sexual prowess, to say that I am so desirable to the ladies uh, that I can make them wait until certain times of the week just because they still want me, uh, even though that kind of dehumanizes the relationship that we have together. Now, what is Abel trying to say by setting the weekend up as this person? It's complicated. My theory is that he's partially showing and experimenting with that concept and saying, you know, what are the questions that arise in this situation? Uh, how should I feel about being that kind of person? Is it okay to be that kind of person? And maybe Abel Tesfaye is that kind of person. Um, and I think that we can mostly agree that that's not necessarily a kind person. It's not necessarily a person who cares more about the girl than he cares about himself, you know, which is kind of the definition of love, right? So there is no love loss between them. It's just kind of this sort of like a power trip almost. And so it's like Abel is experimenting with the feelings that go into having that kind of power and trying to try them on and feel them and see if any 
moral questions or just any questions at all arise out of that. I think it also gives us as his audience an opportunity uh, to ask the same questions and to ask the same questions about a music industry that glorifies those sorts of relationships and a culture that could sometimes, you know, encourage you to think that this is the way you're supposed to be if you're successful. I personally think that, that loving, mutual, self-sacrificial relationships are the most powerful and the most worthwhile to be in. That's why I married my wife. And if my theory about what Abel's saying about this song is correct, I think he probably believes the same too, but that he is a little bit lost, uh, but in a way that's prompting him to ask these questions and to experiment and to try new things uh, to try to figure out what the answer is. And I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this song. I think maybe I'm giving it too much credit for being as deep as I think it is. Uh, so I'd love to hear what you guys think about it, uh, whether you think that I'm totally off, or if you think that I'm right, what do you think about Abel's question that he's asking? As always, don't forget to comment a song by the weekend you'd like to hear me explain in the future, and check out some of the other videos on this channel. I'm gonna put a bunch of them around here right now. I think you'll like them. In any case, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you later.